This enticing dish captures the essence of French gastronomy by combining the earthy richness of the mushrooms with their luxurious creaminess of the risotto. Wild porcini mushrooms, also known as seps or king boletis or bolé, are highly prized for their nutty flavor and meaty texture. Great news, porcinis can be found in most parts of Europe, but also Mexico, United States, and Canada. All right, let's get started. First, mise en place. To clean porcinis, trim off the base of the stem and gently peel off the outer layer of the foot to remove any remaining dirt and brown spots. To further clean the porcinis, you can use a pastry brush to brush it off. Alternatively, you can quickly soak the mushrooms in a water bath or rinse them under running water. Just be sure to dry them thoroughly afterwards. Whole, sliced, diced, or halved clean porcini are easily popped into the freezer for later use. You'll be able to make then this fabulous roasted capon. Works with turkey as well. So, I'm gonna prep my mushrooms as follow. I'm gonna cut some stems into small cubes, and that's gonna be for the risotto, and I'm gonna save the nicest porcinis to be slowly cooked in olive oil, crushed garlic, and thyme. And they're gonna come out later early confit. And those will be used for plating. Next, the risotto. And you certainly want to cook it with your homemade chicken stock, or you can make a porcini water out of dried porcini. And feel free to use other kinds of dried mushrooms. Next, mince onions or shallots and keep your stock hot in a separate pot over low heat. Melt the butter over medium heat, add the onions and along with the cubed mushrooms and cook gently until soft and translucent for about five minutes. Add the carnaroli rice and stir it to coat the grains in the fat. Cook for three minutes until the rice becomes slightly translucent around the edges. This step helps create a creamy texture later. Pour in white wine and stir the rice continuously until the wine is absorbed. Begin adding the hot stock one ladleful at a time, stirring frequently. Allow the rice to absorb the liquid before adding more. Continue this process for about 18 to 20 minutes until the rice is al dente. Tender but with a slight bite and the risotto is creamy. Then stir in butter, turn off the heat and incorporate the grated parmigiano reggiano. This will make your risotto extra creamy and season with salt and pepper. Plate out this beauty and artfully overlap slices of porcini confit with raw porcini shavings. Add some demi-glace and drizzle it with the garlicky oil that was used to confit the porcinis. Gorgeous! To get the full recipe, visit my blog brunoalvus.com. For now, please like, share and subscribe. Bon appétit! Ciao, ciao!